Hey, 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 let's talk about Kenny Rogers. Hey, Google, stop. I'm Mr. Magic, and I want to tell you a story about something that happened to me in a segment I call, There Was This One Time. There was this one time in Beijing that I got a gig. You know, I was in Beijing for 25 years. I used to do gigs uh, as Elvis, uh, Mr. Magic, Uncle Shushu, the clown. I would do... Um, host shows. I was a DJ. Cheesy FM, Natty One Point Five, Ching Song Tiapin, Jungle Guzi Guambo Di and I was the only one there. And the, I went there in '94, so there wasn't too many other folks. So I would get calls, and this was about 2000, about 2000, might have been '99 or 2001. But got a call for a gig. Let's, you know, I had like three gigs that day. So, all right. Oh, they want a 20 minute set, uh, some guitar, some uh, interaction with the crowd and a walk around. A VIP walk around. I would do, I would do a uh, cards. I would read their fortune. Yes. Suan Ming in Chinese. Suan Ming. Very popular. Suan Ming. And I would add magic tricks to the Suan Ming uh, fortune telling. But... I would never know who uh, would show up. So I got this restaurant that just opened. And the Chinese name of it is uh, Le Jazz. Le Jazz. Le Jazz. Le Jazz. Hmm. I didn't know what the client was. So I quoted them a regular price. Had I known, maybe I would have asked for more. Hmm. And like we did with Uma Thurman, we didn't know who it was too. Then we showed up. That's a different story. Right now we're talking about this one time with, uh, I was at... Le Jazz. I went there, I saw the sign. Finally, I saw the English name Rogers. And then I saw the whole sign, Kenny Rogers Roasters. So it was a big deal in Beijing. It was in the Haidian area, very close to Beida, Beijing, Dashi, Beijing University, and the People's University. Um, Haidian, it's also near Zhongguancun, if you know the Beijing area. Uh, the whole area has changed now. But there it was, big, and they even had like a bull riding thing. It was awesome. So I went in there, uh, I started my set, and there was a VIP section in the uh, in the back. Uh, but I did my walk around with like the, uh, the local people, and I tried to use some English just in case, mostly in Chinese. But sure enough, the owner who I, I had done a couple shows for, uh, other gigs, other venues, he walked me by, and we didn't go up to him, but there he was, uh, Kenny Rogers. He wore this like big black jacket. He wore a hat, cowboy hat actually, but his his beard, and he was bigger than than uh, he looked on TV. Usually people are smaller, but he was bigger than on TV. And they said usually he goes around. I guess he was under the weather or something, and uh, he gave me like a thumbs up. That's that was cool. That was cool. So I got to perform. I got to put a couple songs for Kenny Rogers live. I've never seen him live. He's seen me live. Kenny Rogers, I see my show. I've not seen Kenny Rogers' show live. Of course, I've seen him. Uh, so, uh, after that, you know, I really got into him. I uh, read his biography. He grew up in Houston in the projects, very similar to me. We grew up in the uh, different kind of projects. We grew up in a trailer park. But I think his sort of was like a trailer park. He had like eight brothers. I have like lots of siblings everywhere. Um, and he started, he's a bass player just like me. Hey man, the bass. Boom, 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 boom. And I love, I love, love, love his song about what condition the condition's in. Just you hear that and you put, takes you back in time. It's like a time traveling song. Yeah, so yeah, he heard me. I think I did like a uh, country road. I think I say like country road because that's what they love in China. They love country road, and then I sang one of my own songs, which I would do about the about the wherever I was, right? So I made a song about uh, uh, Kenny Rogers restaurant. You know, uh, you can get all the chicken you want at Kenny's restaurant. You know? <laughs> Yeah, I probably took that old song, Alice's Restaurant, and changed a little bit to Kenny's Restaurant. And you know what? That was some good food, especially for Beijing. And the thing is, in Beijing, when they just open up, they bring in the foreign chefs in like the first like three months, and then the foreign chefs leave. Those three months are so awesome. Everyone's like, 
you know, working like the boss. It, uh, bosses at the back. It reminds me of in Lord of the Rings. They say they run as if their master's whip was at their back, right? That's how it's like when the uh, the foreign investors are still there and the uh, the foreign chef is still there. It's just top, top, top. As soon as they leave, uh, the quality dips. But it stayed on for a couple of years and they had the best uh, cornbread in China. I don't know if I couldn't get cornbread anywhere else, but cornbread and they had real beans and uh, the, the wooden roasted chicken is good. I think some places still have uh, Kenny Rogers around the world. In China, though, it lasted like a few years, five years. Then he got scammed. Sorry to say. Uh, the Chinese partners that he had, they scammed, which happens a lot, fortunately. Uh, you have to be very clear. And I'm, I'm guessing he was just a, too nice of a guy. Anyway, so uh, they cut him out. They cut, took off the pictures of him. But everything else, they left exactly the same. Even the Chinese name of the place, Le Jazz, Le Jazz. So they just put a jazz symbol next to it instead. But they still had the Western memorabilia and the food was exactly the same. They copied his food. It's just a copy. So come on, China, you can do better than that. Let's not have that happen. Um, let's, we want more people to come. But he, he tried really hard in China to bring, and he brought happiness to me. And I know lots of other expats and Chinese people got to feel the, and taste the real flavor and listen to the real music. It was so awesome. And normally I'm a clown, but there I was like the cowboy clown, which really gave me a new persona. And I got more gigs out of that. And I I wish that I could have gave him a, a, a love reading or, you know, Sun Ming, Sun Ming. But uh, uh, maybe next time we meet in the next world, Kenny Rogers. R.I.P., man. Kenny, I love that song. I love us. I like a coward of the county. Great song. Great song. Redemption, which we all need, especially right now. Uh, condition, and of course, the gambler. This album, I got for a dollar at the Goodwill. Bet you it's worth more than that now, huh? Rock on, man. I'll see you next time, and I'll tell you another story of. Uh, hmm, remember this one time? Joe Yiga Shijin, what Jendal? Kenny, you to go to Jasma, take a fangor, uh, high dear, you dee go to be da, dee ten, kai, what you chula, what chula, biao ya, need to know what's the arshu nians, I don't go with ching tong tell him, don't go go over the entire DJ. You know, that's what boots it out, le jazz, I don't want to boots it out, what didn't you kind of in one? Oh, Kenny Rogers, how, 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 wow, how chu, how chu, you know, uh, I'm the VIP, yo. Oh, yo, how do I get eager? Huh? Hey, show up. How you hood? Oh, and to be the hood. Oh, you're the pump. Some walk, come be your company there. He was the only one chubbier than me. So, you're eager to be your pump. I just thought, I tried to hear the, uh, she won't use that mouth. I'm cool. The, yeah, that's what I'm, yeah, what get a chunker. You want to show your mean there, get me chunker, do it. Jay's, your mean there, get a chunker. Wow, what a singing, the, a singing, the. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll get him. In way, Ban Show, what you get him a swim mink, swim mink, every day. Ah, nigger in the tubby house. Dan Shahan Kushi, uh, send the ta, uh, nigger le jazz, which is the pianta. Dan Shahan Kushi, nigger don't you too hatch. So, how chill is nigger, you me, mimbo, nigger, uh, corn bread, you me, mimbo. I, Tai Hao Chill. You only have shouted. Your son shouts, your arbao shouts, a tai hao chili, what you bao li. Zao chi hao, jong chi bao, zao chi bao, jong chi hao, wan chi shao. That's what we say at the Kenny Rogers restaurant. You can get all the chicken you want, uh, you can get all the cornbread you want at Kenny's restaurant.